Yo guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Felicia here, and we got Ruby Volume 9, Chapter 7? I want to say 7, because 5 was when, 5 was at the marketplace, 6 is Bumblebee, yeah, so we're in 7. Uh, yeah, pretty excited to see where we're going next, um, I think it should be the tree, just going off of the intro, uh, oh, also thank you guys for the support on the last video, I think it was like like one out of ten or something like that so i think that's a good thing um appreciate all the love um yeah i still really happy about blake and yang and everyone else on the internet seems pretty happy too uh so happy to see how it progresses if it does progress and happy to hear to learn more about jean and what he's doing and hopefully we get out of here let's go this episode contains themes of which might be distressing for some viewers. Like what? Oh god, hold on. Really? We're doing this? Just, just, just... Alright, I think it's fixed. I don't want to pause again. We're almost there. Yeah, like, we gotta be at the tree now, right? <clears throat> Maybe we'll learn more about Lewis and, um, Alex. I forgot her name for a second. Oh yeah, they're at his cabin, right? What the heck is that? I always see had mats for them to sleep on. I was worried about not worried, but I was gonna, I was wondering how they're gonna go to bed. Oh wow, Ruby didn't even sleep. I'm late! I'm late! Yep. There's that white rabbit motif. What's that? Why? I, I never oversleep. What happened? All the excitement, get your head together, you can fix it. You always fix it. Sean! Look, I can't wait, I'm late! Any second, there's going to be another one. Damn it, right on time. Get to town, I'll meet you there! Well, uh, remember this upset when I oversleep. At least the town's uh, not far what away. What do you mean, right on time? I'm sure we'll find out when we get down there. Ruby, where's your weapon? Oh, sorry. Uh, still waking up. Uh, hurry! People are counting on us. I mean, it wouldn't have taken two seconds to grab it, Weiss. Relax. Who makes a town out of paper? Hello. Welcome to our village. We the hope heck that are it you? pleases you. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you are so that we may serve you? Serve us? Your town is on fire! Oh, uh, no. We are quite safe. We have our hero. Are they just like in concert? Is that it? Uh, it's so loud in my ear. I'm sorry. Back up! There's water everywhere. You'll dissolve. Hello, water. How may I serve you? Stop that. They are incompetent. Okay. Ugh, I can't believe that almost happened. It's been ages since I missed the first fire. Do fires happen often? Oh, every day. What? Oh, uh, right. I guess, uh, introductions. These are the paper pleasers. They're probably the most polite, most hospitable afterns around. Mm -hmm. Because that's their purpose. <laughs> when Alex left me to die, Juniper found help. Brought me to the paper pleasers who got me back on my feet. They work all day. Not just serving travelers, but serving the land they live on, too. What the heck? They beautify it. Make it a place of peace. Unfortunately, they're a bit clumsy, but that also makes them predictable. Mm. I told you to hold these. 
Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> Classic Ren. You named Ren? them after your teammates? No, I named them after everybody. Is that Ruby? I am the one called Ruby. What a cute. Hate that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Morning Lantern is dealt with. That gives us just enough time to strategize. But I mean, everyone's got to cope in their own way. He's been here for how many years? Over 20, I think. So, do what you got to do, John. Before the John. Pebble Tower crumbles, crushing the Koi Pond Dam, and flooding the entire village. So, I'm thinking... Quick brunch? So, so if all this happens <sighs> every day... A fire and a flood, it sounds like. When did he have time to go rescue them? As many of the nearby acres as possible. If you think you've seen it all here, let me tell you. You have it. What exactly have you been looking for? Anyone or anything that might be able to take us back home. <laughs> okay. Good. Good plan. And what have you found? But so far, I mean, not much, but I've got a really, really good feeling about this one acre we saw with a bunch of pyramids. Sorry, um, I'm just trying to make sure I follow. Do you have any leads at all? The any tree. The tree. This is the plan. Look, I I'm sorry I didn't solve all our problems by myself, but I, I can't just run off and let them die. But between protecting the village, searching for you guys, and searching for an exit, we've got a really tight schedule to keep. Mm. Or rather, you've got a tight schedule to keep. I beg your pardon? This is the schedule of catastrophes that befall the village every day. Or at least they would if it wasn't for me and June. With this, you guys can save the day no problem, which means I can go out to keep searching without any interruptions. With Wait. Juniper's speed and my what? familiarity with this place, we'll find our solution in no time. Guys, this is it. Look, if there's one thing I've learned after all these years, it's that patience pays off. Get a phone call. From Shanghai. What? Scammers. Um, okay. I don't think it's a bad plan necessarily. Like, I say try it out for a week, you know? But also, uh, yeah, I don't think Team Ruby wants to protect this village while he goes out and tries to find an exit when they already have a, an idea of how to get out already, you know? Like, the tree. <laughs> I know John doesn't trust the tree, but that's the only that's the only thing in the after ever after that we know got someone out alex we don't know what happened to lewis but alex still did get out and you can probably go there at least try going there and see what it's about before you just decide to like oh we're gonna spend the rest of our time protecting villagers while jean tries to figure out a way out even though he's been trying to do that for the last how many years and has found nothing aside from the tree so i can understand the hesitation but i don't know Give it a week, three days, see how it goes. Why we're finally back together. I know I can find us a way out, okay? I, I know it. I know it! This isn't crazy. Boy, it's unhinged. It's not crazy. <clears throat> this isn't crazy, it's It might easy. be a little crazy. It might you be know, a little crazy. We still got time before the Pebble Tower falls. How about I uh, saddle up Juniper and show you around myself? Point out some of the clumsier papers. <laughs> Just wait till you guys eat Neptune. <laughs> Damn it, John. This isn't a plan, it's a to-do list. He's I mean, he cares about them. He's been through a lot. Yeah. We can be frustrated later. Right now, Jean needs us. And we still need him. We just can't count on him. Oh, wow. Then who does that leave us with? It's obvious we need someone to guide us, or we could end up thrown back in time, or killed by the tree. Or worse. Well, if that's how everybody... The great tree does not kill. That is what we keep trying to tell him. But You're our a little freaky. still insists that we never ascend. What? I do not wish to be rude, but our work has been completed for quite some time. Because mm. of us, the land is beautiful. But we have realized that, like ourselves, it is also very delicate. We would like to make something that is pleasing, but also resilient. Because of okay. this, we are ready to leave ourselves and merge with the tree, so that it might return mm -hmm. us as something new. But I'm totally following our this. Our hero is displeased by this course of action. 
We tried reaching out to the tree, but our hero forbade it. Then, the wisest of our village suggested breaking from our physical forms so that the wind awesome. could carry okay. us to the tree. That is a bit dark. Our hero is clever and brave, always keeping us from home. You must understand, the tree does not kill, it resurrects and rebuilds. We do not wish to displease our hero, and I hope I have not displeased you, but we so desperately wish to return to the tree, to return home. So that okay. We on with our work. So it's not Turn really home, that bad. Oh, do not be sad. The wisest are going to topple the pebble tower today. I am sure it will work this time. What makes you so sure? Nothing. So, are Team Ruby going to help these people kill themselves? That's Can so I say sad. that in a video? I don't know. Weird, but sad. But it also means Jean might not be totally right about the tree. It's not death it's rebirth From but what happened to lewis maybe but what happened to lewis then that's what i'm asking john said john wasn't there the cat wasn't even there none of us know the full story and we'll never learn anything babysitting these villagers we have to convince john to let them go but how or, or. he's clearly not all there <sighs> is that what you think does compromise not exist anymore? Like, it's a very delicate situation, right? And John has been here for a long time. He's clearly cares about these paper people. I still say give it a go. Try on his plan. I mean, you've already been for how many days? What's another two or three days? I don't know. Maybe that's that's too idealistic. Um, or just tell John, hey, we're going to take off and we're going to go check out the tree. I don't know. truth maybe not about everything but about the tree the tree's the last thing you should listen to them about they're, they're just doing what they're designed to do they don't care what happens when you get there we're not listening to them we're listening to the actrons and they're telling us that the tree is nothing to be afraid of that they want to go they don't know what they want You've seen the way they act. Nothing here is that straightforward, okay? Afterins are all either too clever, too stupid, or too crazy to trust. Well, then. Then why do you care so much about this village? Because I can actually protect these people! What's happening now? Y'all shouldn't have run the last time, if I'm being honest. Why you couldn't even stay and fight? Fight scene, let's go! Oh, sh I love when Wes uses her, her knight. They're sick, you know, they're sick. They're fighting even more like together. Okay, okay, okay. Oh wow. Uh. So she's not going to help. I, I, I understand what Ruby's going through right now. She's, yeah. She's not in the right mindset. Snoop, are you seeing this? It's not care at all. Mm, the 
Flashbacks. Yes. Show yourself. The walkers from the market. But that's... Those were more than just her usual tricks. Mm -hmm. They eat and grow and... How has she gotten so powerful? Well, she didn't do it by standing around. I know you may not care about protecting this village. But you could at least help your friends when they're in danger. <gasps> mm. Ruby? Are you okay? Oh god, one thing after the other. No, no, what time is it? No! No! Wait, I'm sorry, was that it? Did it? What? That was it? That was it? That happened so quickly. to save them, and. and they're dead. Don't come back. No, John. They're gone. But they're not dead. They'll be back. Yeah, it's what they wanted. Right, Ruby? Why are you asking me? <laughs> Yo, Ruby um, said I'm not in this. We just because I'm the leader. Because I'm just supposed to have something to say. Because mm. I don't. This is it. This is it. I mean, why do I have to be the leader anyway? Why do I have to always be the one to pick people up? What about me? No time, right? Gotta get home. Gotta help Jean. Gotta find someone who isn't just going to screw everything up. Gotta stay positive, right? <laughs> Smiles all around. Maybe even finally get our feelings sorted out. Good for you, by the way. We're all so happy for you. Hey, I'm sorry. Is this a Yo. good time? Yo. Are we supposed to be mourning Jean's make-believe friends? They're Ruby, calm down. Because of you. Ruby, the calm down. The came for you because Neo hates you. Oh, and let's not forget the reason we're in the Ever After in the first place is because of your plan that didn't work. What about you? It's all about you. Oof. The voice acting. Jean. I'm sorry. I... I know I'm not okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not right, but... How am I supposed to be? I've been alone for so long here on that bridge. Mm. I was the only one that could do it. I was the only one! And I... And now I have to live with that forever. Penny asked you to. Yeah, it wasn't man. your fault, bro. Guys, I know things are bad, but shut up. Don't oof. Do that. Oof. 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 Just don't. Oh, jeez. Girl, where are you going? That got a little heated. Or a lot heated, but I don't know. It's, I've seen worse. This is how it ends. Don't end here. Don't end here. Please don't. No. Uh, this feels so short. Dang. Oh, look, her, her little person, her concept person is all, like, upset now. Hmm. Wow. Ruby kind of just went off on everybody, huh? She kind of reminded me of like, a, I don't mean this in like a derogatory way or anything like, but she was acting like a brat, which I think was the point. And that's like neither right or wrong. I'm just acknowledging that she was acting like a brat. She's like, what about me? And um, why do I have to be the leader? It's like, girl, you, you were chosen and accepted the role as leader way back in volume one. What are you talking about? Uh, so it's very like, she's not acknowledging the truth of the situation. She's very focused on her own feelings. Um, 
So, yeah, very childlike. Which, I mean, is fair. Ruby's still only, what, 17, I think? 16, 17? So, she's not, like, an, a full-blown adult or whatever, but she has, all like, the weight of the world on her shoulders. So, it's nice, to, or it's it's normal, and I can accept that she's acting like this. Um, and not gonna lie, if I was in this situation, I... As much as I do love the whole Bumblebee thing, if I was in this situation, I was like, really? I'm having, I'm going through the worst emotional, like, stint of my life. I feel, like, the, terrible about myself and what we're doing, and I feel like I've let everyone down, and then my sister's just over there having the time of her life with her girlfriend. Like, <laughs> um, so, I mean, the, but again, the whole stark contrast is intentional, you know? Um, I don't know why she's so upset at White. It's like... Vice has been there for you. What was she blowing up at her for? And then the whole thing with Jean, like, saying that, like, oh, the Jabberwockers came out after us because Neo hates you. Like, yeah, but Neo hates all of you. Like, the hell? And, uh, oh, we're here because your plan didn't work. Like, sir, you were also a co-leader of that plan. Your team was also involved. You helped. Do it. Like, it was a group effort. It was not just Ruby. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people shifting blame or blame does not need to be shifted. Um, everyone's at fault. <laughs> Everyone tried their best. Okay. Sometimes it didn't work out. You took a gamble. You saved a lot of people, but you lost the relics. I don't know. 50, 50. Uh, but yeah, I wish this episode was a little longer. I wish we actually got to see team Ruby, like, like a little montage of them trying to save the villagers day after day. I thought that would have been uh, really funny to see. Um, but I don't know, everything kind of went very quickly. What else is there? I feel like I'm talking really fast, but I just naturally do that, so sorry. And the, even the paper people, they died so quickly. Like, we, we got introduced to them this episode, and they died this episode within like two seconds. And John has this big emotional breakdown about it, but we didn't really get to know them, so we don't really care that as much, if I'm being honest. I care about John, but it's like, that their deaths don't affect me as much, because in the same way, I guess, with Ruby and them, you didn't really know them. And they want to die anyway, so I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to start over, but I guess... The themes, which may be distressing for some viewers, is the uh, um, the paper people trying to ascend. I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool fight scene. I love the whole like Weiss throwing Jean's weapon, his sword back at him, and like her glyph flipping upside down. That was pretty cool. Uh, I really like that. That's I like the team attacks in that way, or the teams working together in that way. They're, Jean and Weiss are more of a team than Ruby and Weiss are at this point. I wish you guys see more of the Paper Village itself. I mean, I feel like we're just kind of on the outskirts of it. I don't know. We got, what, three episodes left? I'm so curious to see what they do. Because this seemed a bit, not like filler. Because we got Ruby's, like, big moment where she's, like, letting out, like, everything out. Because she's been, like, holding all her emotions in this whole time. And just kind of going through the motions um and then in instances like whenever she tries to say how she's feeling they either get interrupted or um they're like oh we gotta just focus on this mission right now we'll deal with all that other stuff later or we'll think about all the other stuff later so to her credit i think she has tried a couple times to say how she's really feeling um but then also they have also asked her a couple times hey are you okay whatever and she hasn't divulged anything uh so yeah yeah i don't know i'm very interested to see what happens next so yeah uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'll see y'all in the next one and hopefully we get volume 10 it hasn't been greenlit yet but i'm hoping we get volume 10 so yeah goodbye